Hello and welcome to Living Word, growing a family that experiences every promise of God. For more information, visit our website at livingwordonline.com. One hundred verse four, and it says, "Enter into his gates with thanksgiving." And I'm reading from the Amplified version because I love that it expands. It says, "Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and a thank offering." And then it continues. It says, "Into his courts with praise." It encourages, "Be thankful and say so to him." <laughs> I'm going to say that again. Be thankful and say so to him. Yes, it continues. Bless and affectionately praise his name. You know what I love about that? It doesn't say be thankful and say so to him because your life is perfect and going amazing right now. Uh Uh-oh. It doesn't say be thankful and say so to him because your days just always go perfectly the way you want them to. It's encouraging us that we, that we can draw from the gratitude and the thankfulness of what he's already done. The moments we can recall where he came through. It's in those things that we can get excited that he's still on the throne and still working everything out on our behalf. Be thankful and say so. And it continues in verse 5. It says, for the Lord is good. His mercy and loving kindness are everlasting. That means it doesn't ever stop. It continues, says, his faithfulness and truth endure. Say endure. It endures to all generations. You know what that means? And I heard someone say this this week. God cannot improve. You know why? Because he already embodies and empowers everything there is that we need. He's everything. He's all amazing. He's all encompassing. He can't improve because he is everything already and he never changes. So here's here's what that scripture means to you and I. It means that when I wake up, I don't have to I don't have to have the circumstances be perfect. I, it doesn't matter what I have and what I don't have. If I wake up and I purpose and I determine that my day is going to be so caught up in who he is and what he is and who he says he wants to be for me, I will never ever focus on the things that are not going well, but I will be empowered and motivated and I will move and have my being in everything that he is for me. (laughs) Right? It's a great gift. We have grace. We have the gift of grace and we don't earn it. We can't be good enough for it. We can't be bad enough for it. We just have it. It's what he has afforded to us. But there is a do. And that is we have to know it and we have to walk in it. We have to operate in it. We have to wake up and partner with it. It, It's ours. It's ours, but we have to know it and we have to trust and we have to believe it. So let's be that church. Let's be that community that wakes up every day and we go into the Target and the Walmart and the grocery and the ball field and we tell everybody the goodness of our God and we show them that he's running us down with his goodness and his favor and his gifts and every high amazing thing that he is. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 